In today's class, make and do exercise level B1 intermediate. Well, hello folks and welcome to another video in our channel, Learn English with JC, that's me. Okay, today's lesson has to do with level B1, which is intermediate, vocabulary section and lesson number six. And it follows what we studied on lesson number five, which was none other than the difference between make and do. In this lesson, lesson number six, we are going to try to apply the knowledge we learned on lesson number five. So it goes like this. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of make or do. You have a 50-50% probability. Anyway, all right. So number one, you've made mm, such a mess. I'll have to mm, do my, uh, my best to clean it. Okay, so remember that with mess, you use make, but because this is a present perfect, you use the past participle and the sentence becomes, you've made such a mess. And with my best, remember we use do. Okay, I'll have to do my best. Very good. So number two, believe me, you wouldn't hmm, so many mistakes if you read more. So with mistakes, you use what? Make or do? May, you wouldn't make so many mistakes. Okay, very good. Number three, I felt scared when someone mm, a strange noise last night. Now, with a noise, strange noise in this case, what do you use? Make or do? Someone made strange noise. It's to make a noise. Okay, but because it is last night, you use the past. All right, not the present. All right, very good. So I can mm, the bed. Remember with the bed, is it, is it make or do? It is make. I can make the bed. Okay. For you in another room, don't worry. Very good. Number five, love and not war. What do you use with love? Make or do? It is the first one. So this one becomes make love and not war for it's much better. Yes, it is. All right. Number six, I did in my homework. What do we use with homework? Make or do? We use do, so I didn't do my homework yesterday and my teacher is annoyed. Yes, he is. Okay, number seven. Whose turn is it to mm, the dishes tonight? With the dishes you use do. Okay. Number eight. I like to listen to the radio when I'm mm, the housework. Okay, now this is a present continuous. And with housework, you use do, so you use the gerund while I'm doing the housework. Okay, very good. Number nine, the floods didn't mm, any serious harm to our crops. Remember that with harm, we use do, didn't do any serious harm. Okay, number nine, you look tired, dear, do, so don't mm, anything. Remember with anything we use? Do, don't do anything for a while, relax. All right, number 11. Do you like to mm, crossword puzzles? Remember with crossword, we use do. And the answer is yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I like to do them. All right, number, no, number 12. I'm going to mm, an offer. Remember with offer, we use make. I'm going to make you an offer. You won't be able to refuse. Okay, so let's read them again really fast. So you will get them. All right, number one. You've made such a mess. I'll have to do my best to clean it. Number two. Believe me, you wouldn't make so many mistakes if you read more. Number three. I felt scared when someone made a strange noise last night. Number four. I can make the bed for you in another room. Don't worry. Number five, make love and not war, for it's better. Much better. Number six, I didn't do my homework yesterday and my teacher is annoyed. Number seven, whose turn is it to do the dishes tonight? Number eight, 
I like to listen to the radio when I'm doing my or the house, housework. Okay, when I'm doing the housework, I like to listen to the radio. Number nine, the floods didn't do any serious harm to our crops. That's good. Number 10, you look tired, dear, so don't do anything for a while. Relax, rest. Number 11, do you like to do crossword puzzles? Yes, I do. And number 12, I'm going to make you an offer you won't be able to refuse. Okay, so that's all for today in terms of uh, this short test about make and do. I hope you liked the video. If you did, click on like and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, but better yet, come to our academy in Montero Espinosa, located in Madrid, Spain, in the neighborhood of Moncloa, where we can teach you one-on-one -on -one classes or classes in groups, and you will be able to learn a lot of English. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so call us or visit us soon. We'll be here waiting for you. But for this time, this is all. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'll see you soon again. Bye.